What's up, Popper fans? Brent Cook, we're back again, and today we are playing Twiddle Storm. We're playing Storm Combo in Popper. I actually played this deck about a month ago, and at the end of the video, I concluded that the deck was too slow. So today, we are looking at ways of speeding up this Storm deck here in Popper. When we look at the concept of this deck, a little bit of a refresher of what it does before I dig into what we've changed. We're looking to build our own Lotus Field, and by that, I mean put one of these four mana green enchantments onto Tangle Pool Bridge or Summit Growth Chamber, but you do need your land to tap for at least four mana in order to really get going. You can theoretically win with three, but it's very difficult. Uh, so you ideally would like to put it onto Summit Growth Chamber. And then once you've built your own Lotus Field, you can use Ideas Inbound or Peer Through Depths along with Psychic Puppetry to tap and untap this four mana land a whole bunch. That's the idea. We're actually trying something a little bit different in this video. We are not playing um, Reach Through Mist, which is another arcane spell that just draws a card. So with that, you're just drawing a random card and untapping your land. We're not playing that today. So one of the solutions I had of playing this deck was to speed it up, which seems weird if we're cutting another Twiddle effect, and I completely get that. We actually also cut Literal Twiddle. We cut Dream Script. So if we're cutting cards that theoretically make the deck faster, what are we doing to speed it up then? Because it seems a little strange. Well, we're adding in Snap. And Snap's condition is that it has to return a creature. So if our opponent doesn't have a creature, this is a dead card. A little bit awkward, and I completely get that. That said, it does allow me to do what this deck really needs to do, which is accelerate into turn three, four mana enchantment. So you want to dump a Simic Growth Chamber into play and then Snap your opponent's creatures, untap the chamber, and then with that additional mana, so... You have to imagine that you're going to have a land to pair with your Simic Growth Chamber. So you untap both lands, play this on turn three. Turn four, you're able to untap and win. Pretty cool, right? Well, Explorer actually does a very similar thing. So instead of looking to win more after we've already achieved our goal, we're just looking to speed our deck up to getting to the goal. So I think before I was looking at the deck as a hey, I need to win on turn four and I need to do everything super efficiently afterwards. Where maybe that wasn't the best thought. Maybe I should focus on getting to the point where we're comboing and then let the deck do its thing once we're comboing. So both Explore and Snap allow you to get to the point where you're able to do your thing. And then they're not awful on the combo turn. Like these are, like Snap is still very good when mid combo and Explore is fine. It becomes one mana draw card. Uh, you can also put an extra growth chamber into play so that way when you have multiple psychic puppetries, it actually generates mana. So these are live mid combo as well. Um, yeah, and if you're completely unfamiliar with this deck, let's say you're brand new. This deck wins by using stream of thought over and over. So your idea is to draw your entire deck using ideas inbound, peer through depths, flux, all these good cards. And then you stream of thought yourself so you're milling yourself, and then you're putting the arcane spells back in. And you're looking to redraw these cards over and over and over again until your deck is very low. Eventually, you end up with a doomsday pile where you have very few cards in your deck, usually four, and you've created a loop. And then from there, you can start stream of thought in your opponent over and over, uh, putting these ide uh, ideas and bound peers back into your deck, etc. Or what you can do is you can you can loop yourself over and over and over again, and then just build up a bunch of mana and then replicate Stream of Thought all at once. That's the preferred method that I like to use, but there is a way of just looping off three mana over and over, uh, but it takes a lot longer to win. So I just prefer the replicate method myself. Uh, you can also Stream of Thought yourself, decking yourself and then getting into your Doomsday Pal using Deep Analysis, which is pretty cool. So I do like that. Um... I think that covers the main deck changes. Oh, we're playing less tap lands. The last time I played this deck, we ran these eight tap lands, but we also ran four red lands. So two of the Is It Boiler Works, and then the red version of Tangle Pool Bridge, uh, Silver something bridge, I don't remember. Silver Bluff Bridge, maybe? So we had a lot more tap lands. We've reduced those. Instead, we're playing 10 untapped lands today. And there's also shuffle effects for Brainstorm. In my last video, I did not play Brainstorm because I was running so many tap lands, we didn't have any shuffle effects. Today, Brainstorm is back. It's just super powerful. People want it banned in Legacy, so why aren't we playing it here in Popper? If, we're, if the card's that powerful, we should be playing it. You might be thinking, Brian, you don't have enough shuffle effects for Brainstorm. Maybe. 
I don't think that's true, but maybe. So in this deck, most of the time you're using Ash Burns to shuffle with Brainstorm. You also have Stream of Thought mid combo to mill those lands that you put back, which is one of the most common occurrences with Brainstorm, in my opinion. You can also put two lands back with Peer Through Dops and then Peer them away. Um, there's a bunch of things you can do. You could shuffle them away with Muddle the Mixture. You don't actually need Evolving Wilds, and I think Evolving Wilds is the worst fetch land that you can play in this archetype. From there, we have Prohibit in the sideboard as an update. This I usually run Negate here, but Negate is so embarrassing against fairies that I just didn't want to play it. And then the red list, I tried uh, Pyroblast. Pyroblast is obviously very powerful, but, you know, there's only so much you can do. So today I'm trying Prohibit to counter Spellsetter Sprite since Negate does not counter that. There's only one card that Prohibit doesn't answer that I um, really like to hit with Pyroblast, and that's a Dranova Horror, I believe it's pronounced. It's a 6 mana 4-4 four, four that bounces a permanent, and then you discard a card. So that can hit our super land. I think that you have to make a concession somewhere and not playing red. I think Prohibit hitting Spellsetter is good enough where maybe we can get away with this. So today we are pure Simic, we are not Rug, we are not Teamer, and hopefully this list does well. I do think that it's probably a good idea what we're doing today where we are looking to achieve our four mana enchantment more often rather than uh, winning more once we've achieved it. So we're looking to get to point A rather than making sure that point B works. Maybe I have the wrong thought philosophy here, but we'll find out. Stick around. Uh, I love playing this deck, and honestly, this video is for me. It's not for you. I wanted to play this deck. I love playing Total Storm. So if no one watches this video, cool. If you enjoy it, let me know in the comment section down below. It'd be nice of you to do that. Get this video into the algorithm. But mostly, I just wanted to play this deck today. It's a Saturday. I'm relaxing. So hope you enjoy it. No shilling. I'm just going to hop right on in. Visit the Epic Storm shop or something like that. See you in match number one. Welcome to round number one. We are on the draw. Our opponent's taking a mulligan. I'm going to keep this. My one fear of playing Snap today is that we're going to get paired against a bunch of decks that don't have creatures. I hope that's not the case, but I'm a little bit nervous about that. Infinity. This is one of the matchups that I was really looking at Snap to help with. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I think I'm supposed to play the bridge. Okay, so I thought about cycling Ash Barons, but if you do that on turn three, you're playing a tap Tangle Pool Bridge, and I just don't want to be in that situation. And they missed their land drop here. Uh, kind of shocking. So I think what we're going to do is play Explore. If I have to, I'll put the Ash Barons into play, but I'm hoping to hit a, a Simic, whatever it's called here. And we did not. So let's just play the Ash Barons and pass. Looking to hit land number four for this uh, market festival that would be nice okay chromatic star did you hit your land your opponent is just conceded uh let's draw we did not hit our land we weren't going to hit our land Jeez. there's the growth chamber kind of shocking all right so do we want to do anything um I do like Hydroblast for countering uh, Fling and Atogs, but I don't know if this is a card we want to bring in here. Maybe I could board out the Explorers. Just try to slow them down a little bit, like be the control deck. Hmm. Maybe one snap? Let's try that. Okay. Here we go. This sounds pretty good. I wouldn't mind a snap or explore though. Here I am, a dummy boarding them out. I didn't even draw my pyroblast. All right, I'll take a land too. Come on, explore off the top rope. Witching well. I am a fan of it not being turned to a tog. I will say that. Okay, explore. So we're gonna have to discard a card here. We can just get rid of the stream of thought. We have two more on our deck. I'm not concerned with this. Okay. From Star. Thoughtcast. No Atog this turn. I do like that. 
another Witching Well. Now they can play a Mirror Enforcer if they have one. They have seven artifacts. Two on top. Come on. Explore. Needed that last turn. That doesn't help me right here. I guess I can play... Let's brainstorm before I cast this. Explore, see if I had another brainstorm. I did not. Um, doesn't really matter, I suppose. And pass. So next turn we're playing Dawn's Reflection, and then on the following turn, hoping to win the game. Three cards in hand. Switching while hiding behind my sideboard. So they're about likely leaving up counter spells or drawing with the Witching Well. And I'm just going to jam this. I don't think that they have interaction for Dawn's Reflection. This deck usually plays Dispel, Hydroblast, Pyroblast. Like, I don't think they have anything for a four man enchantment. Okay. Now they're going to draw two off Witching Well. Sure. They have restocked their hand. Seven cards. We'll take two going to 16. Forger, I haven't seen that in a while. Two mana up. So if I tap this for blue, we get three blue. So I can cast Peer, floating a blue, but if they have a counter spell, I can't muddle. Um, even if I drew into... I guess I could, like, brainstorm and do a snap or something. Hmm. Let's just try brainstorm. We can put back these two. So use the green cycle. So if it's Pyroblast they have, we have Hydroblast now. And then we can peer, untap. Okay, let's see if this works. Hmm. I want to take the ideas, but I think I'm almost supposed to take the snap. So that way I can protect it with muddle. I'm just going to take the idea. It's the best card in there. I just need to take it. So we'll make blue again here. And then peer so that way we can float. Use the green. Then that the next time I can protect muddle or protect the ideas with muddle. Um, I think I'm supposed to take the muddle. Okay, and now we can tap this for blue. Ideas inbound. Splice. Looks like they're going to pyroblast. Hydroblast. Okay, they were not interested in. Uh, the peers. So I guess I'm getting burned here. In theory, I could psychic puppetry and then uh, do something like try to ideas, but that's just not good. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to let the ideas get countered and then we can try again next turn. All right, pass. Another thought cast. What is this? Prism, okay. Three mana up, five cards in hand. Serpent. Now they're just representing Dispel or Pyroblast again. And we're taking six, going to ten, so it's now or never. Draw. So if I ideas and they have a Dispel, uh, it resolves. But if they have another Pyroblast, we can't cast this Muddle. Hmm. I'm going to ponder to see if I can hit like a snap or something. That just doesn't help me. Shuffle. Hey, perfect draw. We're going to snap the forger. And I know that this might seem weird, but they can't pyroblast their own forger. They get it to fizzle. All right, so that was actually pretty huge. Now we can cast this ideas. Okay. So I think I'm in a similar spot here where I have all these muddles, but not a whole lot to do with them. I can muddle for another ideas, but then I can't protect it. Drawing both forces this game is a little bit awkward. Um, 
wonder if I should just explore. I guess I didn't need to uh, tap that. It's fine. Another tap land. Um, maybe I get reach then. Repair, I mean. Not, uh, two ideas left. All right. Use the green. We hit ideas. That's good. There's only two left, so that was kind of lucky. Now we tap for blue. Ideas. Okay. So I think we're supposed to stream a thought ourselves now. Now we put some ideas back into the deck. One, two, three, four. We do have one stream left. So I don't need to put another stream in right now. Okay, do this again. We're going to use a green mana so that way we can filter blue, blue. All right, use the green. And we hit ideas. Tap, blue, blue. Cast ideas inbound. All right, now we're, we can start to get ahead. We hit another enchantment. So this land now taps for six. But we did not hit an arcane spell. So I think what I'm going to do is cast brainstorm here. See what my options are. Ding. Get rid of these bridges. I don't need those. Snap the frog. We'll leave the green floating so that way I can drop the enchantment on. Use those and then tap an island. Okay, so now we're going to add a bunch of mana. Transmute the muddle so that way we get rid of the lands on top of the deck that we don't want. Go get ideas inbound. And keep going. So I can play this chamber. This will matter in case we ever hit another um, psychic pepper tree. We can start to double splice. 22 cards left in deck. And I don't need a rush. We have plenty of time. Okay. Um, let's ponder. I would love to keep this. Thank you. Got a bunch of mana. Ideas inbound. 15 cards left. One island in the graveyard, three here. All right, we do have a land in there. Let's remove the land. Do I have anything to muddle for? Puppetry? Yeah, I don't want to muddle for puppetry. Looks like we're all out of uh, arcane spells for the most part. I have to find that stream of thought. We don't have any draw spells here, so maybe I am supposed to use a muddle just to remove a card from the deck. Might as well get the puppetry. Should I use this muddle too? Probably. Okay. So now what we can do is tap their land, untap, untap, and then switch phases. Okay. Our opponent has conceded. Uh, instead of just going to the next game, let's see what the idea or the deep analysis would have drawn. First card would have been Ponder. That that would have been great. Hydroblast, flashback, deep analysis, market festival into Flux. Flux would have won the game. Okay, so we would have gotten that anyway. Our opponent just saved themselves some time. One zero to start off this league. I'll admit the snaps were really good. The explorers were okay. But the snaps really impressed me uh, this game. Let's uh, see what we can do in the rest of this. Match two coming up. Match number two. Yes, I would like to be on the play. Uh, all right, judge me later. I'm going to keep. We have three cantrips. We'll hit land number two, he said, before never drawing another land. But we also have Market Festival. And what if we drew Simic Growth Chamber? This hand all of a sudden just becomes insane. What are you playing? Basic Forest. Elves? 
Vogels, the snap is a dead card. Yeah, the snap isn't doing anything this game. All right, Ponder. There's the chamber. And another snap. Just rubbing it in my face. Okay. I think I'm supposed to peer away the uh, snap on top of our dock. Yep. And I don't think I actually want another tap land either, so I'm going to peer now. Take the ponder. Okay, draw for turn. Untap land. All right, we need to hit an untap land for our next draw step. Might just be dead here. Well, not right here, but yeah, Ancestral Mask is certainly not good. So we're going to go to 13. Yikes. Draw. There's the untapped land, but are we dead? Turn five might not be fast enough. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Armadillo Cloak is 13 damage. That's all they needed. Ah, oh, brutal. Slightly too slow. Draw a card. Well, it looks like I wasn't going to find uh, puppetry anyway, so that was going to be an issue. But uh, these snaps can get out of Verdak, and we can board in Moments Piece. I think that's the only change I'd like to make here. On the play yet again. Moments Piece is really good, but is it this good? Let's find out. I'm going to keep. I don't love this hand. No enchantment, only two mana, and flux and ideas are more like um, combo card turns, and we're not near the combo turn. I'm a little bit nervous about keeping. In theory, I could just cast flux on turn three, but it also lets my opponent fix their hand, and that's pretty dangerous. We're just going to go get our island. No need to waste time. Okay. Oh. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay, let's just draw a four mana enchantment now. I could use Ideas Unbound in uh, a careful study mode. That is a possibility. Scout. Got it. Draw. So I can go get. Um, Puppetry with this. Or I can cast ideas. I think I'm going to get puppetry. Give myself the opportunity to just draw into one of the seven enchantments. Alright, so they hit their third land. Armadillo Cloak? Mask? Mask, okay. So we're taking seven here and going to 13. It was white for brawl. I think I'm going to explore and then just moments piece. Well, I'm not allowed to cast that. And their upkeep, what's moments piece? That way they can't like play a blue source and count it. All right, they've put cast another Utopia Sprawl, naming blue. They might have a counter spell next turn. Okay, another moments piece. Um. I think I'm going to pass and not cast uh, the Explore because this tells me that they have a counter spell and I don't want to die. So that is the main idea here. In their upkeep, let's cast Moments Piece and see if they counter. Oh no, I've been dispelled. You have this other Moments Piece though. All right, so we've cast a bunch of Time Mocks. They're green, but they are in fact Time Mocks in this matchup. Forest and can't do much. All right, draw. So if I play explore and mess my land, there's a good chance we're dead. Um, kind of a tough spot to be in here. One has two cards. I think I just have to pass. Moments piece. Another big enchantment. Yep. Sure. Draw. So it's a land, but 
I don't know how if it's good enough. And now we have to pass. Yeah, it's moments piece again. Now they have two cards. They're sitting on something in their hand that they just haven't played yet. Pilgrim. So I might cast Flux on our turn because our opponent doesn't have a hand or they'll have one card in hand. And I can convert this Flux ideally into at least one land. Which would, would allow me to moments piece. Spider Umbra. Sure. And this is the last time we'll be able to moments piece because that's all three. Sure. Draw. Not an untap land. So we're casting Flux. Part of me wonders if I should even discard the Pier. Just to make sure we hit an untap land. So this is going to be a draw five. Okay, we also hit the Market Festival, so that's good. Okay. Moments Peace. That is uh, six Moments Peace cast this game. Another Ancestral Mask. That is a big Glade Cover Scout. So on our turn, we can play Market Festival on the Growth Chamber and cast Ideas. The problem is we don't have a whole lot going on outside of that. If we had another Puppetry, we can play the Growth Chamber, but we don't have an extra blue every... Uh, turn to even abuse the second puppetry yet. We're gonna have to hit running good cards off ideas Well, that was a good start All right market festival Move that down a little bit We do have this deep analysis eventually Okay, I like the explore Because we can the green mana can eventually be used Ideas. Okay. Um, get another puppetry. So I can play Growth Chamber. That's the forest. And now I can use the puppetry with the peers. So let's cast this. And then untap the Growth Chambers. Make a brainstorm. Yes, yes. Let's move these next to each other. Blue, blue. Pull out of green. Actually, let's guess Brainstorm, because I can use this as a good shuffle opportunity. All right, let's get these lands out of here. And actually, I'm going to put the, uh, the untapper on now. And then Peer. Use the Crab Stream. We're all out of our cane spells, though. Um, kind of scares me, but we'll see if we can keep going. I guess I could muddle. Maybe that'd be better. I have an ideas. And let's muddle again. Because there's one more ideas left in the deck. Ah, I love playing this deck. It's so much fun. We did not hit any arcane spells off that. 20 cards left. Ideas, 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 and ideas. Back up to 20. Let's cast Ponder to see if I hit one. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so that brings us up to 7 mana, which means that I can throw on another enchantment here. Cast another Ideas Inbound. Whole bunch of mana. And now this one I can splice twice on one, two. And this should be over shortly. Another idea. So this is gonna bring us down to seven cards. Play another enchantment. Seven cards left. This is the point where we're just trying to generate a whole bunch of mana. Let's Brainstorm. We can put a couple lands back. And then remove the lands with the... Um, I'm not... It almost feels like a waste of mana to do that. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, let's just cast this. It doesn't matter. Grab the stream. Five cards left. Let's cast a Brainstorm. Why not? 
go back to the two cycling lands. So that leaves us with four. We can now stream a thought ourselves. Get back ideas, 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 stream a thought. And now we can just build up a bunch of mana and deck our opponent. Okay, so this land taps for a metric buttload. Um, I guess I can ponder to get in. All right, so this is going to draw the last three cards in the deck. And we'll stream them. All right, we have 14 minutes. That's plenty of time. Okay. So now they have 25 cards left. And I can just cast two ideas until we uh, do the next stream. That was the big idea behind it, is that this way I don't have to, in the meantime, uh, go through stream again. Okay, tap for a bunch of mana. Four cards left. Tap for a million mana, and now we can deck our opponent with uh, the final stream plus deep analysis. Okay. Sometimes for uh, actually, I guess it's going to be a little bit extra. It's fine. There's also I forgot that was the number of copies, so there ends up being an extra one there, but it's fine. And now we target them and go to game three. Woot woot! I've never had a Lotus Field that tapped for sixteen mana. Just throwing that out there. No big deal. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna reset. Okay, so we've opened up the Explorer hand, but no four mana enchantment. I think I'm gonna keep this and just hope that we peel one. Also, a Simic Growth Chamber would be nice. Moments Peace was a good pickup. Ledge Walker. Let's cast Explorer. If I have to, I'll put in the Ash Burns, but I hope I don't have to. Okay, play that. So, in theory, I could cycle the Ashburns on their end step, but I sort of want to keep it for the Brainstorm. But I don't know how much that matters, because I can always cycle away the, uh, or peer away anything I'd want off Brainstorm. So maybe I should just, uh, cycle the Ashburns now. Braincore, okay. Serial Armor. Getting large. And I am going to cycle this now, I've decided. And I'm going to get a forest because then I can explore plus moment speed. Draw. Explore. Alright, we hit our four mana enchantment. That's nice. Okay, let's just moment's piece now. Abundant growth. So that means that they have blue mana for dispel. That is a big ledge walker. So if they have Dispel in hand, I'm just dead. Draw. Okay, so put the Dawn's Reflection on the pool. Next turn we can try to do something, but we need this Moment's Peace to resolve. Moment's Peace. Hey, not dead. Big cover scout. Sure. Draw. Growth Chamber into lands. That was not a very good brainstorm. Um, I'm going to cycle this Ash Barons. So this might seem weird that I'm doing this, but this way I get to look at fresh cards off these piers. Brainstorm puppetry. Hey, that was good. Okay, so let's cast here. Honestly, I'd be happy finding a moment's piece. We did not take ideas. Here, untap. Are we going all in right now on this? Like, this just doesn't seem like the right play to go all in on these ideas and bounds. Because right now our land isn't making four mana, so it's pretty bad for us. But I'm dead if I don't. There's a four mana enchantment that doesn't do a whole lot right now. Okay. So we picked up another puppetry. Does that mean anything? 
So if I do this, three mana, I can untap, tap its get leaves me one short. So I don't know how good that actually is. Fine. Um let's just ideas. I think I'm probably just gonna die here. So we hit moments piece, but I also have to discard nine cards from my hand now. And I have eleven. Um I guess I could flashback the moments piece as a card to discard. I don't know what to do. We only have eight minutes. So I, we get to keep two cards. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just not sure what the play is here. I think I just have to go to discard. All right, well, we're definitely discarding moments piece, explore one of the enchantments so that those can go. Probably don't need this growth chamber. You can get rid of one puppetry. And stream of thought. Sorry about that. Um, I think we're supposed to keep the muddle. All right, and now let's moments piece. So something interesting we can do is muddle for another moments piece to buy time while we rebuild. Sure, another cartoon. Like their creatures don't matter right now. Like what they have is good enough. Vogel, sure. Draw. Okay, that was interesting. Let's go get ideas. Just past the turn. Moments piece. We have one stream of thought here, which means that there's still two left in the deck. Three ideas are in the graveyard, so this ideas cannot hit another ideas, which is kind of an issue. There's only two peers left in the deck. So not a whole lot of arcane spells. Okay, and moments piece resolved. We have three large green enchantments still in the deck that we can use. We just need a number of things to go right at this point, fortunately. Draw. Okay. That can go get another moments piece to buy time. Or was that all of them? Looks like that was all of them. Um, I guess we get a peer. Okay, I'm just going to have moments piece. And then next turn we have to try to win. Hopefully we draw one of those enchantments. Draw. We did not. All right, time to go. We have six minutes. Ideas inbound. Okay. So now let's... Under, so that way we can take what we want. Oh, I didn't want any of those. Shuffle. That was good. Here. Uh, Muddle can get the last reach, I believe. Transmute. Here. All right, so there are no more arcane spells left in the deck. Really need a stream of thought. There's stream of thought. Okay. We still win though. We have one mana. This taps for six. I can deep analysis. I don't know if I can win here. Ideas. Ideas, ideas. So I have to hard cast deep analysis, and that leaves me with two mana, and then I can puppetry. I don't know if this is possible. No, I can't. I can't win. I'm just dead. Um I guess. The plan is to do this and then hit runner runner off this deep analysis. Well, I hit one of the runners. Um, uh, that's a shame. All right, we didn't get there. <sighs> kind of a bummer. All right, one one. You could probably argue that I wasn't supposed to play the Simic Growth Chamber, and that in that way I could have played an island so I didn't have to make that play. So then I could have cast ideas with the uh, puppetry still in my hand. Well, I guess I would have been stuck at two mana, and that wouldn't have worked out anyway. So that play ended up not mattering. Okay, we just didn't get there. It happens. 1-1. One, one. Match number three. Eep. 
Okay. You're looking to find a four mana enchantment. Forest again. Ugh, our snaps are rendered useless. All right, so I guess I could have waited till my main phase to do this. Explorer's good here. Um, I wonder if I should actually shuffle those away. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I'm going to not use the Explorers to their fullest potential. Okay. Need to find a four mana enchantment. Seven of them in our deck. Okay, so they played growth. Ah, uh, knew they had the armor. 16. There we go. Alright, so let's cast Explore. We can put Island into play. Explore again. The next turn, we can play John's Reflection, but we don't have a Psychic Puppetry. And as of right now, unless we draw an untap land, we can't... Um, Play it on Summit Growth Chamber. And our opponent's representing lethal next turn, so we are in trouble. This draw was just too slow. And the fact that uh, Snap doesn't save us in this matchup is kind of brutal. Ugh. I think I'm just dead. Yeah. Okay. Moment's peace. Okay, then get rid of these snaps. Yeah, I mean, that's always been the problem with Snap before, is the fact that it's really good unless you're facing Bogles. I'm getting paired twice in the same league against Bogles when we made the conscious decision to uh, play Snap is kind of brutal. Like, this isn't new information to me. This has always sort of been a problem. Okay, this hand is also very good. We will try this. Turn one bridge, turn two island, explore growth chamber. We have a few extra lands that we don't really want, but we're not going to ship this. There's the scout. Okay, so let's cast explore. Maybe we'll get lucky and peel four mana enchantment off the top. Rancor. And another bogle, sure. Enchantment. Enchantment. All right, I'll take a Psychic Puppetry. Um, let's explore, because we can muddle after that. Go get a uh, moment's piece to buy some time. We're taking four here. Looks like our opponent's a little bit color screwed. I think I'm really considering just casting ideas here as a uh, careful study. Ponder. There we go. We can discard forest. Do we actually want to keep that? Hmm. Honestly, it might be correct to discard an ideas. So if they draw ancestral mask or a white source, I could be dead. All right, I'm gonna get a little risky here. All right, making the uh, conscious decision to get blown out. Let's see how it goes. And I messed up by not playing the forest. Like, if I had played my turn, I could have, um, like, had an extra land in play. But I don't think it's ultimately going to matter. Because on our turn, we're just playing a land, playing our enchantment and passing. So it's not like we would have had um, an, a land drop this turn anyway. We're going to pass, and then in their upkeep, we're going to cast Moments Piece. Okay. All right. Next turn, we're going to try to do our thing. Another forest. Okay, let's go. Ideas and bound. Reflection. Ideas and bound. And ideas and bound. All I want to do is have ideas that are unbound. Okay, so we can... I guess it, I shouldn't play land here. Let's transmute, go get the last ideas unbound. Oh, uh, is that all four? That was all four, so I guess I'll get up here. Okay. Take a ponder. 
And let's cast Flux. Honestly, I don't really want this muddle, so I'm going to get rid of that. Like, I don't want to spend three mana to transmute for uh, here. Okay. Play a land, pick this up. Cast Brainstorm. The land's back. 23 cards left. Let's peer those away. We don't want those lands. Ponder. Those are all reasonable. Peer again, but this time we can peer and tap two lands. Hit the stream finally. We're going to copy it this time. Something that I'm accused of not doing enough. Put the Flux back in the deck too. I love Flux. And some of these ideas. Ideas, stream. Our opponent has conceded. I'm not allowed to have fun anymore. Alright. I think I'm just going to resubmit this. Well, we have four mana enchantments. It's just that the rest of the hand stinks. Mulligan. Ugh. What are you doing to me, Doc? I can't keep this. Okay. Um, yikes. We're in trouble. Run it mulligan to six, but that's not making me feel any better. I think I'm supposed to ponder. Actually, not bad. Okay. They have white mana. That can't be good. Just two? I'm fine with that. So I think I'm supposed to cast the Brainstorm now because I'm not going to have another good opportunity over the next few turns. Doesn't really matter what two I put back. Um, actually, I guess I could upkeep Ash Barons. If I take that line, though, uh, I'm dead if they have another Mask. So I think I'm supposed to cycle the Ash Barons here. If it's not lethal, I don't think I'm supposed to... Um... Okay, well, it's going to be lethal now. Oh, that would put me to one? Looks like I'm taking it. Okay, Cycle Ash Barons. I just need to buy as much time as possible. Goddamn bridge. Um... Moments piece? They have the Dispel. We are dead. Oh, what a hand. Trample over for 18, and we are at negative 18. All right, one and two, womp womp. Bogle's shocking, tough matchup. Let's see if we can get something else in round four. On the play once again. Can't keep that. Sure. I think you're supposed to buy them and explore here. Another interesting idea I had was playing two copies of Visit Boilerworks and then two main deck bridge and then sideboarding two bridge for the matchups where you get paired against um, Wildfire deck. So that way you have six Karoos because the Karoos are probably the best lands in the deck. So that way you do have access to main deck bridges in case you end up needing them. Like you can cantrip looking for one of your two indestructible lands and then you can board up to four. That might honestly be a little bit better. It does make uh, casting explore a little bit more difficult, though. All right, blue black is a tough matchup. Come on, growth chamber. Nope. I'm gonna pass. I'm not gonna let them spell stutter my cantrip. Brainstorm. Hey, growth chamber. Um, we can just put muddles on top. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of ways that you can take this deck right now. I just think that having access to some number of Tangle Pool Bridge is good. So I don't know if you want to run two main, two board. I'm not sure what the correct configuration is, but I do think it's a card worth playing just for those Wildfire decks. Obviously, in this league, we haven't gotten paired against any Wildfire decks, so this card has seemed a little uh, underwhelming. That's annoying. We have the snap, but if their opponent has another land, they can potentially counter our snap. 
It looks like they've met. All right, I'm going to insta brainstorm. Four man enchantment, come on. Ugh. I can't but wonder if I'm supposed to cycle on our upkeep looking for one of those enchantments. Come on, deck, draw one. Okay, let's snap. Okay. Ponder, and then we can always uh, muddle if we need to. There we go. That's not bad. Let's explore, and then we can bounce the island. Yeah, we probably want six Karoos. I feel like six is probably the right number. And I'm always learning when I play this deck, so... Um, don't think that I know all the answers. Like, I'm always just trying to figure out the best possible list I can be playing. Okay, so our opponent gave us a window here. I kind of want to take it. All right. LFG. Can't dispel that. All right, well, it's Ideas Unbound again. Okay. So we can cast Pure here, and I believe, unless I'm wrong, oh, we wouldn't have enough mana for Muddle. So if they do have Dispel, it's going to sting a little. Okay. Snap was a good one. And let's pick up that spell setter sprite. Ooh, and I'm tapping two crews. How beautiful. It's amazing what snap can do when uh, your opponent's creatures aren't indestructible. <laughs> All right, let's uh, jam another festival onto there. Here. I like the flux. Ponder. Take another pier, why not? Okay, I'm going to transmute and go get another ideas. Three lands, classic. Um, I guess it's all flux food, it's fine. Here. Ideas inbound. So that is the last ideas inbound. Okay. Target this. Another enchantment is always great. Let's brainstorm. Yeah, let's uh, pull land out. I just don't want to peer into garbage. But right now, we just need to focus on not fizzling. And looking at fresh cards, I think, is slightly better. Get another puppetry, sure. Let's explore, get a look at another card, and I can put down Growth Chamber. Pick up another land. Guess flux. Okay, so a nice draw six. I'm sorry, draw seven. Okay. We did not hit uh, a stream of thought on that. We do need stream right now to. There we go. To put some arcane spells back into our deck. And I know, that, like, you're supposed to target yourself right here. I don't really want to, so deal with it. Flux, ideas, 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 here, 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 ideas. Now I can transmute this for an ideas inbound. There's two islands in the deck, so I could probably remove one of those. So that way I don't draw it. Okay, and now we can cast ideas and double splice. Easy peasy. Play another market festival. And we can actually triple splice now. So let's move these to the middle. Let's make it a little bit easier on ourselves. And triple splice. One, two, three. Another enchantment. Why not? Just having a great old time here. Good, good ideas amount. I just love drawing cards. Cast Ideas Inbound. Sex so sweet. Alright, we have 10 cards left in our library. Let's peer again. Sure, you can cast your brainstorm. Here. Untap. Taking all of the mana. 
Ideas abound once again. All right, six cards left. Let's brainstorm, why not? All right, our opponent has 34 cards in the library. We can just deck them here. Yeah, let's get this game over with. We've wasted enough clock. 34 cards. Click, 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 click. Boom. All right, your opponent a bunch. Storm 30. Come on, just resolve. I'll let you know when I want to do something else. You just mill my opponent. Deep analysis. Get out of here. Woot woot. Okay, so the prohibits are supposed to be for this matchup. And then the Giga Drows. I actually ended up liking the snaps that game. So I don't know how much I love prohibit, but we could try boarding it in. Probably don't need the explorers. Those can go out. Hmm. Two cards over. I can like maybe board out one snap. I don't know. It just seemed pretty good. Hmm. Maybe board out flux. Flux is always a card I'm pretty happy with drawing mid combo though. I just don't know what to do. I could just do two prohibit, or I can suck it up and accept only one snap. Let's try this. Game number two, when we are on the draw, we've used 10 minutes of our clock, so we do need to uh, be mindful of it, I guess I'll say. Our opponent is finally back, and we're on the draw. They burned a bunch of clock, but uh, we've opened up a hand with just Simic Growth Chamber, and that's honestly one of the downsides of possibly playing six, is that you do open up more double crew hands that just aren't playable. And I think that we can try this. We have one of our two snaps in our hand, just as the good snap lord intended. You don't want to play a turn one creature. I can see it in your eyes. Okay. Weird to play the land uh, after the brainstorm, or before the brainstorm, in case they hit like an evolving wilds, but their list might not have evolving wilds and it might not matter. Okay, so they had fairies here. That's fine. Let's cycle this, go get an island. Draw. Return the barons. And then go get a forest. We have lands for days. Okay, our opponent just conceded the match. I'm sorry that you didn't get to watch more uh, sweet, sweet to whittle. There we go, action. But those were amazing draws, too. This would have been a good one. Sorry, we're two and two, one match left to go. Welcome to round number five. We're on the draw, and this hand seems fine. We can use Brainstorm plus Ash Barons to get rid of these Stream of Thoughts that we don't really want in our hand. Island. Okay. And I'm just going to main phase this so that way the Brainstorm can't get hit by Spell Stutter. Okay, that's a lot of lands. Maybe we keep one stream of thought then. I wasn't expecting to draw into mono lands. Reveals play. Are they unfamiliars? Would look like it. Upkeep cycle. Go get that forest light card. We know that they have a planes in their hand. What that is? Angelic Re <laughs> renewal. Whenever a creature is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, you may sacrifice Angelic Renewal. If you do, return that creature to the battlefield. So it works pretty well with uh, Mole Drifter. That's most likely the idea behind that. Okay, so let's cast Explore. And replay our land. Sweet. We are so far away from doing our thing. Need another brainstorm just to fix the first one. You are the monarch. Okay, that was a reasonable draw. Um, I mean, do I even want to snap that? Like, what 
what is snapping that doing for me right now? I guess maybe they'll tap out next turn. Play Dawn's Reflection. Can I get an Arcane spell? Preordain. And another Preordain. They're just passing. Well, there's our Arcane spell. But uh, our opponent did not tap out. I think I'm just going to pass. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's pretty sweet. They're going to get a bunch of birds. I like that. But they are still representing uh, counter spells, so we have to draw Muddle the Mixture or another Psychic Puppetry to shut that off. Deep was a good draw. Okay, I'm pretty good at grinding out blue decks with this card. Hmm. I mean, if they want to counterspell that, it doesn't really matter. Okay. There is one basic land left in the deck, so I can pull that out with the Ash Barons. I was thinking about holding it for shuffling, but the odds that I draw the basic off the ideas or flux or something is just too high. Ponder. They shuffle off the Ponder. The Renewal. Take all the Ash Barons. <coughs> Excuse me. Go time. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's flash back deep analysis. Okay, so that did not find us another arcane spell or a counter spell of any sort. So I think we want to ponder here. Um, they're fine. So what we can do is target this and then splice this on the other island and then tap both. We can switch phases and then cast Ideas Inbound. I would not like to untap. No. No. Switch phases. Alright, let's start party time. Ideas. Splice. We're going to draw into the known peer plus another 4-mana enchantment. Muddle is not bad. Okay. I'd love an idea. It's perfect. We have six mana floating, so we can play another festival. Add a bunch more mana. Play another festival. Why not? Ideas. So now this lane taps for 10 mana. Transmute. See if we have any more ideas left. We do we have two. Really just want to maximize this flux. That's the main goal. You don't want to cast Flux for like three. When you cast Flux, you want it to be for a lot. All right, Muddle again. Get the ideas. Uh, I didn't... I, I misclicked. That's a bummer. Um, uh, let's just do two, I guess. All right, so... Right, we're gonna return all the ideas because it's just the best thing that we can do. Return these two arcane spells and then the last one. We don't need to return those, that's fine. Okay, so now we have 16 cards left. Let's muddle. Ideas inbound. Play the Market Festival. We have 12 cards left. I don't think we're actually going to end up needing this Flux. We just, I mean, it's always nice if you can use it, but it doesn't really matter here. Look at all these Arcane spells we're drawing. I wonder where they all came from. Alright, 31 mana currently. Alright, three cards left in deck. Yes, Brains. There's got to be some four mana enchantments, right? There's one. They have 37 cards. All right, so we'll build them for eight, put a couple of arcane spells back in. Okay, then we can peer. 
I just like making sure that they're dead when I cast it. I like doing a little bit extra. You don't have to. It's just, it makes me feel better. Okay, so we now have a metric buttload of mana. Now this stream should do the job. We can't deep analysis flashback because I already used the deep analysis. Okay. And they do, it looks like this is essentially familiars without familiars in it. But I could be wrong. Or an opponent can see. Sure thing. It's like blue white monarch. Um. Probably want the prohibits and the Giga Drows. Snap doesn't seem that good here, unlike the fairies matchup, so I think I'm okay with boarding out the snap. Brought off the explorers, and then we can actually keep a card in. So maybe we keep like one snap. Call it a day.
Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.